Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about how to develop your skills as a junior designer. This could apply for anybody who wants to up their game, but it's an old technique that you would have learned if you had studied art growing up. You would have copied the techniques of the masters. So when I was younger, I used to get these books from CNA, which is a local stationery store, generally, I think. And they used to have this series of Leonardo books. And I used to get these books and then copy the way that he drew anatomy. And that's how I learned to draw people. I never did enough painting in high school. My teacher kind of gave me a little bit of carte blanche and I could paint whatever I liked. So I used to just look at things like movies and see, I remember watching the Terminator and seeing the guy coming out of the floor and then I try to copy that. She allowed me to kind of just do my own thing, which is how I develop my artistic skills. But I probably would have learned more by just copying painting te techniques of some of the great uh, painters out there. Leonardo being one of them, Michelangelo and uh, the likes of Jackson Pollock and, and so on. So recently on TikTok, I noticed that there was a guy who does all these paint splashes and I will look him up and leave his details down below. But I found this really interesting and I thought like, I love what he's doing, I could do that. And so it's definitely something that I'm going to try in order to figure out a commercial way that I could put something out in the market. Now, I'm not going to copy him, that would be wrong. But what I will do is I will certainly learn from him and develop my skills from emulating what he's done so far to be successful and then start learning how to break the rules and then start figuring out what it is that I can do and what I want to put out in the world. Now, how does this come back to design? Well, let me tell you. As a designer, if you want to develop your skills and you want to like up your level, what you need to do is find the designs that you aspire to make. Find that level up. Go to your leaders and ask them like, hey, what do you think is good design? Point me in the right direction. Then copy what these people have done pixel for pixel until it becomes something you can do on your own. And so you just take every design and you just say, what did they do? Let me recreate it. And you just recreate it and recreate it and get good at doing the techniques that they've used to make that specific design. Now guys, don't put this in your portfolio. This is like a staunch warning. Don't put it in your portfolio. Nobody wants to hire somebody who's copied somebody else's design. What we want to hire you is on your ability to produce such a design. So, what you then need to do is say, hey, I've practiced and so on, but now I need something to do. And if you can't find something in your current job, something that you could proactively take to your leadership and say, hey, um, I noticed that there was this design that could be done. And so I took it upon myself to take an attempt at it, what do you think? That's one way to do things. But another way to do it is to say, hey, how could I do a specific design better? You know those reimagine designs. So for example, you want to reimagine what uh, Craigslist or Wikipedia or Facebook or IMDB could look like as an example. I mean, many people have done this and quite successfully attracted new employers. So I would urge you to do that if you've got no real life projects to do. But the best way in today's competitive market is to 
try and find your own voice. So start with your own website. That's a great place to practice your newly developed skills. And then another place that you could really try this is in taking a everyday problem and trying to solve it. And the best thing you could do is document it and then tell a great story on how you got to where you are and then show your visual progress. Now, even better is, I think it's Austin Kleon or something like that. He talks about showing your process. And so what I'd encourage you to do is to actually document each little bit of it and share it on your social profiles and share it in a blog post. And then ultimately you can use that to tell the story in a case study, which should be able to show people your newly developed skills that you would have started developing through copying. My name is Craig Jamison. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool.